All right, we're back in Assetto Corsa, this time for the Naruto Skyline map. Uh, this is in uh, Naruto City in Tokushima, Japan. Um, I've not driven it um, very much. I, I, I took a lap a little bit, uh, about a half a lap, to just sort of see what it looks like. And while I initially I thought it was a really nice, pretty scene because of the, the trees that I can see here and uh, left turn uh, going over some water, it's absolutely beautiful. It's not as finished as I thought it was when I started. It's still a great map, um, so we're going to actually take the ride. Um, it's a good distance map, too. I think it would be a fun um, community map for like racing or doing something like that on a shared server. Um, so I want to show it to you because I bothered to load it, um, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, just sort of get started here and uh, roll on in. This is what I saw when I first uh, jumped in, is this water line and the trees, and looks really nice. But then we see the hills over here on the right aren't quite as finished as uh, I would hope they would be. remember uh, a few videos back we were in Japan and we saw these lines and uh, someone in the comments actually answered my question as to what they actually mean is that while there's no standardized system for the lines uh, on the roadways, red typically means that it's a high accident area. Green, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, um, was indicating uh, pedestrian traffic or high pedestrian traffic so be cautious there and then the other warnings are just sort of variations on some sort of you know be careful kind of notation slow down that sort of thing um, yeah the hills and such don't look as finished as I would like them to be but it's still a really nice road nicely textured A sneaky little left-hander. We've actually seen a couple of uh, rather unfinished maps. I think uh, it's a Glen Shale. Had some unfinished portions to it, and I'm not one to criticize. I don't know that I could uh, could develop a map. Not one that actually uh, resembles in any way a real road. That's that's a pretty interesting skill set. So a little bit of unfinished here and there. Lack of polish. I'm not going to complain too much. Now, to be honest, I can't attest to these roads being like anything in real life. Because I've never driven here. Nowhere in Japan have I driven. I uh, went to Tokyo once for business. I was uh, on a panel with the SISO of Yahoo Japan at the time. And uh, I traveled to Tokyo for that. Um, and it was a uh, mind-blowing experience, to say the very least. Uh, the, the culture, um, everything was just so amazing. Two parts of that trip that are, are extremely memorable. Um, the first is that uh, we went out to dinner with the uh, customer that we were visiting and took us to this uh, sushi restaurant that was in essentially a mall. But uh, the dinner was essentially a tour of Japan. Um, so each dish, each... Uh, um, each 
course of the meal was from another part of Japan and uh, so it was it was incredible just a really really great meal um, and I'm a great fan of sushi um, anyway but it was it was more than just sushi it was uh, it, there were some soups and some salads and some I mean it was just it was incredible And the other thing that was uh, really memorable about that trip and struck me, see, uh, here's some unfinished stuff. I was expecting to see some unfinished stuff here. Um, the other thing that was kind of humbling, I guess is the right word, um, is the amount of respect and care the people that you interacted with, especially in the service industry, um, how much respect they had, not only for the people they were waiting on, serving, what have you, but just the, the job in and of itself, how they conducted themselves, it was just amazing. And really, the, the example that sticks in my mind was uh, at the airport, people loading the buses with baggage, the people that were, you know, uh, deplaning or, you know, um, uh, get, getting on the buses to go to like hotels and et cetera. When the bus would pull away, the people that were putting the bags on the bus would bow um, at the bus as it drove away. And well, that was just mind-blowing to watch. I sat at the airport. Um, I was early to the airport for my flight home and just sat there at the airport and watched this. And it was unique, a unique experience. walked around the city um, at night and it was just absolutely gorgeous. Tokyo Tower um, was breathtaking. And, uh, but my only regret is I didn't get to venture beyond Tokyo and see any more of the country would have really liked that had I had the opportunity. I think I was only there for two days. in this map, but uh, it's a thing with mods in uh, Assetto Corsa is sometimes uh, projects get abandoned, people run out of time or um, get busy with other things and wind up not finishing the maps, so you get to enjoy them for what they are and how they're published, but most of them are kind of as is, you don't get to look forward to refinements on them sometimes. There are exceptions to that, of course, but... This is like a 23 kilometer map. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to take this left. I was supposed to take that. A little off. That's okay.
the other thing that was memorable about that trip, there was a third thing. So the reason I was there, of course, was to be on this uh, security panel um, talking about a product that I was... Uh, product managing at the time and uh, I was um, all mic'd up like you as you are for a panel with an audience but it was really interesting is that uh, they had a uh, translator that was translating my English into Japanese and Japanese from the other speakers into my ear as English and that was the most awkward feeling experience I've ever had. Because the delay and hearing two people talk and one in a language that you can't understand and you're having to kind of trust that you're getting context and understanding. That was the hardest part too, is that when you are speaking in a foreign country, um, you have to be very careful about just sort of cutting all idioms out of your language. And I like to tell stories and a lot of times I do stories with analogies and idioms don't translate well. <laughs> It was a very uh, rich experience for a lot of different reasons, and I thoroughly want to go back. Maybe someday. I almost made it to the end without wrecking the car, which I guess that's good. Um, the shame that I messed it up there at the very end. But I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, that was a fun drive. Um, the map, a little unfinished, but I think it's a good drive. And uh, because of that, um, I think it could be worth, uh, worth running on a server sometime, maybe. I don't know. Um, I like circuits um, and long circuits at that that are natural roads and kind of fun. This has some odd bottle up points that are a little bit more challenging to drive than you really want them to be. Especially like coming off that long freeway um, to a really tight, narrow section there. Um, I navigated it fine, but um, if you've got a lot of cars that are racing, that could be a, a choke point for somebody to bottle it up and then catch a bunch of people out. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, enough said. Um, like, subscribe, um, give me some comments, and um, we'll continue to roll these out. I've got some newer tracks that I've discovered as well, um, and uh, um, want to bring those to light. Um, I have um, a 1967 version of the Nürburgring, which is fun. Um, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to drive this car or if I want to go classic, drive a, uh, a vintage um, Porsche, like a race 356 from the 50s, maybe. I don't know. We'll think on it. Um, and then uh, I have the old Watkins Glen in that same era, um, 60, late 60s, um, that I want to want to showcase. And uh, there are a few that have been uh, recommended. I guess some tracks by Big Alfie that are supposed to be really good and a joy to drive. Um, somebody recommended those in the comments of a, a prior video. So I'm going to give some of those a chance as well. Um, so next uh, few weeks, we've probably got some pretty good tracks. So hope you come back and, uh, and watch. And uh, until then, take care of yourselves. Thanks for joining. Thank <laughs> you.
Mach Heimsport.